Arise? Yeah, this is Arise. You said you were denied for home base. Why did they deny you? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, why don't you stop in tomorrow afternoon? We'll bring whatever paperwork you have, and we'll see what we can figure out. Arise is one of the only walk-in um, services or that provides walk-in services within our community. So we get a wide range of individuals and families looking for things to meet their immediate needs. Mm -hmm. um, we've had individuals come in who simply want to seal their quarry and don't know how to go about it. Mm -hmm. um, we've also had individuals come in simply wanting assistance with an application or we do a lot of work with you know tenants' rights and we do a Heck of a lot of work with homeless families yes. and homeless mm -hmm. individuals. Do you remember the woman that we were assisting last week? And she was denied shelter because. Um, yes. It says right here that um, homeless pregnant women at any stage of pregnancy is eligible for emergency shelter. See, that's what I thought. Let me go ahead and give her a call. Hi, Sarah. This is Lakia calling from Arise. I'm actually calling with some good news. Springfield got over 3,500 vacant properties, boarded up properties, and they're still homeless. Springfield is known as a city of homes. And there's still homelessness in Massachusetts. The big issue is there's massive substandard housing in the city. There are lead paint problems that continue 39 years after um, Consumer Product Safety Commission and the EPA determined that lead paint in houses was dangerous. So what we're doing right now is a housing census, determine what's available and what's broken in Springfield housing get a better picture of what needs to be done that we can take to the city. We're community organizers. We're looking for structural change, even though that's the hardest kind of change of all. But we will say, yeah, we help people, but our real job is to change the things that make people need help in the first place. We're having a march for the climate on Saturday the 29th. Okay, thanks. We have an environmental justice campaign, which is one, trying to clean up the air in Springfield because we have such a high asthma rate, and also um, trying to get industries to pollute less and people to drive less because, believe it or not, cars are probably the biggest source of pollution in the city. But of course, that means we need better public transportation. <laughs> For the climate change, the transportation, the, the gas pumps, the cars, the buses, everything, so the climate could be a little bit better than what it is today. If we don't get some positive movement around the negative impacts of climate change, none of us are going to be here. Something like this brings people into the movement, which we're always looking to do as organizers. It's an act of solidarity when we all come together. It's a city solidarity march uh, with the big D.C. march that's the national one. <laughs> Even if you don't get a chance to come over here, just make small changes within your community, make small changes within your household. Try to be the best person that you can be. I don't think I would be the person I am today if it wasn't for Arise. I've learned so much. Seeing how much work needs to be done, seeing what we lack in the community, seeing what we're not fighting for in the community. Um, so that's what keeps me keeps me going. I my goal is to become a great asset to my community. Any talent that anyone has can be used. You don't have to be an organizer, you don't have to be a writer, you don't have to be a researcher. If you can get here, you have a talent and you have a gift and the community needs all the gifts more than ever. From each according to his ability, to each according to his need.